Hi guys. guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you're all doing well. Hey Max, the first episode of Vlogmas. Vlogmas. Actually, Max, our first ever Vlogmas to be hey, fair. Yeah, to... Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> that nearly went all over the sofa. Move that down there. It actually marks our first ever Vlogmas. Um, first of many, don't worry. We are really um, excited to do this though, aren't we? Yeah, this has been like something that uh, you have spoke about for a while and I, I didn't, I'll be, I'll be completely honest, didn't actually know this was a thing. Yeah, I did. Like, I've been an avid Vlogmas watcher for mm. God knows how long. But you all know how much I love Christmas. This is just like me, my element. We have decided to do weekly Vlogmas. So we are going to sort of film throughout the week. Oh, my arm's aching. For those of you Ooh. that are returning subscribers, you will know that we work sort of Monday to Friday. So we're just going to sort of film anything that's relatively interesting yeah week, anything that we get up to in the week we're going to try and get up to as much christmas as much festive stuff as possible yeah you know even if it's little minimal just baking do you know what i mean we're just going to film it all it's all going to be part of a weekly vlogmas series so if you are excited for our first ever vlogmas then please don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up so it is currently tuesday the first of december and tonight is the night where we're going to announce our giveaway winner, which we're really excited for. It is currently actually 7.30, so it is quite late on in the evening, but we have both been at work today. Mm. Don't think they'd want to watch you plunge Go a toilet. On. Do you know what I mean? Plunge a toilet? Apparently that's what I do. Plumber. Plunge a toilet. So, like we say, we will just sort of film anything that's like relatively... Oh, so you think I do it Interesting. There? No, but I just was trying to think of the boring thing you would do that they'd see. Do you know what I mean? Because I don't if, think I've ever plunged said, a toilet in my life. If I said do, like doing a boiler or a bathroom, they'd probably be quite interested ah, to see that. Right, okay. Plunging a toilet. No one wants to see no, that. No, we don't want right, to see gotcha. that. That's the reason we've not vlogged today. Um, but I have just had a nice bath. I've got my Christmas pajamas on, and can I also say, Tom, they're Disney as well. Very true. Very true. Um, got a Disney mug. Cheers got to our that. Disney mugs. And, and we have got a little bit of um, exciting A little news, bit of, yeah. No, because last time we did this, we everyone said, we said huge pregnant. news and everyone was like, oh my God, and I was like, okay, I'll change it to exciting. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we have got some exciting news to sort of tell you, which, should we do it now? Start off with a bang. Let's start this Vlogmas off with a humongous bang. Bang. So last night, me and Tommy were just chilling on the sofa. Let's set the scene. We're setting Chilling scene. on the sofa. Eating quality streets, quality streets drinking around. cups of teas. Drink we were actually, you know, cozy Dutch. Candles were lit. Did you we, get the Christmas vibe? Decoration lights were on. Lights were dimmed. Do you know what just I mean? Cozy, it was just relaxing. Yeah, it was cozy, night. relaxing night. And we were watching Disney vlogs. I need to which put my phone on mute. You do need really to put your phone on mute. Um, we were watching Disney vlogs, which is our favourite everything to do because, as you all know, we're Disney fanatics. You now, <laughs> for those of you that are, I'd say new to the channel, because I, I think all our subscribers know how Disney obsessed we are. For those of you that are new to the channel, um, me and Tommy are Disney obsessed, and we try and go to Disney every other year, Disney in Orlando, so Disney Florida. However, we went two years on the trot, didn't we? We last did, year. yeah. Last year and the year before, we were like two years, mm. and then we were like, no, we need to go again, won't yeah. we? Yeah. We're absolutely obsessed. It's like our favourite ever place. We were meant to go this May, but the trip got cancelled, obviously, because of COVID, which we were absolutely gutted about, weren't we? Mm -hmm. But I see it as a positive because we then booked to go to Paris, which, to be fair, I don't think I'd have ever chosen to go to Paris over Florida before, would no. you? So I think it was a good thing because we experienced, obviously, something new. So we went to Disneyland Paris. We have got a Disneyland Paris series on our channel, so I will link it in the description box below if you do want to check it out. But anyways, long story short, I'm rambling on now. We sat on the sofa. She has rambled. We sat on the sofa last night, and I was like, Tom, I just want to go to Disney. And we've always sort of said, right, we're going to book to go in May next year. We just sort of said we'd sort of postpone it a year, didn't we? <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> She's rambling on big time here, so I'm gonna cut this. I'm just I'm cut, to no, set the we scene. don't need the scene cut anymore. Right, we had big news and you pretty much told me it without actually telling them it. Okay. Anyway, scene cut. We booked Disneyland Florida last <laughs> night. <laughs> Completely random. Um, we were on. I, I say it was random. Yeah, tell them the reason why we actually yeah. chose to book so, it last night. So we look all the time, and when we're watching vlogs, we're like, right, let's oh, just. Hang on, let my arms aching. Just one minute. Basically, we cancelled our holiday last year, and instead of moving it 
to this year, we just cancelled it and got all our money back. Which was the biggest mistake ever because we had it with the dining plan and everything yeah. and now they're not and giving the had, dining plan. We had the option to move it as well. She said, do you just want to move it? And we were like, no, because we don't know what the situation will be like. Da, da, da. I wish we just moved it because we've had the dining plan and everything, but we didn't. Yeah. It's a different story. So then, obviously, every time we watch Disney vlogs, we just check prices to see what we're at, where we're at. Because we always envisioned of going next year anyway. We were and gonna then, we were gonna book it in January though, weren't we? Yeah. And then For it May. was Black Friday, um slash Cyber Monday and the Virgin deal just lasted till last night at midnight, so we thought eleven o'clock. We'll save some coin here. <laughs> so we booked it. And there that was that, that. There was actually I have spilt it. Oh you all idiot. over the sofa. I got too excited. <laughs> I spilled it all over the sofa. I'll let you early tell me the rest of the Um So there was ten percent off. Virgin, which is obviously massive when you're booking a holiday, so we just thought we we're gonna do it, didn't we, Rene? We did, yeah. So we've now booked to go next May, which we're so excited for. Um, we, we, for anyone that is bothered, we will we will release like a bit of a video on this. This is just the start of Vlogmas, and I know we're going on and on, but we are staying at the Caribbean beach. We're going in May, and. Uh, the, 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 we've got Universal tickets, we've All got the Florida tickets, tickets and we have got Discovery Cove tickets to swim with the dolphins. And of course we will be filming everything. If you are a Disney fanatic like us, comment in the comment box below what is your favourite Disney film because I'm intrigued to know. Also, could you guess our favourite Disney film? Oh yeah, that's a good one. Put it in the yeah. comments. What do you think Cabot What do you think my favourite Disney film is? What do you think her favourite Disney film is? And we'll comment back to you whether you are right or wrong. I think they'd be surprised at mine, you know. They would be surprised at yours. Okay, we've sat down, we've got the laptop. What I've done I'm laptop, ma is I've gone through everybody. I'm just gonna check no one else has done it like in the last five minutes. I doubt they will have done it. Was but today not the check. Oh what the hell is but this? I just said Random.org. Yeah, leave that on. So let okay. me just check one second. Most recent no okay so what i've done is i've gone through everybody that entered and i've just put a number next to everyone's name because we thought that was like the fairest way to do it okay so we've got random.org up on the screen here let me just focus it and right we need to put in one to 31 because that's how many we've got for the girl gift card right so this is for the girl gift card we have 31 so as soon as i press that generate button that means that whatever number comes up wins yeah, the gift card yeah you're decided the winner here right and you've obviously gave everyone a number. Uh, yeah, everybody a number. Right, are we ready? Are uh, we ready? This is ready? for the girl gift card. Three, two, one. Generate number 16. And the winner is... Drum roll, please. Hey, number 16. Oh, focusing is out. Well, we don't want to edit it because we don't want you to think it's fair. Oh, we're miles out. We're still unfocused. There we go. We're back in. Right, hang on. Who's number 16? 16, did you say? Number 16. 16, 16. Number 16. 16. She's looking through and giving everyone the numbers. Bethany Jade Barker. Bethany Barker. Well done for winning the girl gift guide. There you go. Done. Little firework on screen. <laughs> <laughs> right, shall I do the... the you do the one? boy. Right, have we got all, uh, have we got oh, all no, the numbers for on. the boys one? One minute. So with the boy, there's 25. It's 25, what, right. 25 of you guys right, entered so the boys. Okay, right. So in here. Right, hang on, back to the... There we go, we're 25. focused. Right, are we ready? Ready. This is for the boy gift guide. Number two. Number two. Oh, right, okay. find out who number two is then else. Oh, we're losing focus again. Right, got you. Number two is... Livia Pie. Livia well Pie. Done. Well done for winning the boys. Ham was it hamper? Gift it guide hamper, yeah. Gift guide hamper. So there you go, chaps. Well done to the winners. Well done to the winners. Obviously you're seeing this. On Sunday. On Sunday. So it, this was Tuesday the first. Yeah. And you've watched us do it, so. There we go. So the best part about the first of December is the <laughs> Ah, I just banged that. <laughs> you ruined that then. You ruined that. Sorry. Well, it, you, get the gist. you get the gist. Okay? Ah, look at the mark. <laughs> you alright? Scratch myself. Yeah. I'm just going to put the light off. Are the lights on? Oh, that's bad lighting. But it's always bad. That's what lighting. you get. Yeah. Oh, my cheese has red colours. See, you can tell the two types of people we are chalk and cheese. Or chocolate and cheese, if you would. I'm a savoury gal. And I'm a sweet man. Right, are we ready, Tom? Really I wonder what thing. I'm oh, going to get. Oh, mine's opened. Have you opened that? Right. I don't think I'm going to open your cheese advent calendar, am I? Oh, it's number one, so it's fine. Oh, that's happy days, isn't it? What cheese have I got? 
Wow, they're big cheeses. That's a massive cheese. What you can do is munch on some cheese. Yeah. Today I've got cheddar cheese. And you're just going to open that and just eat that every day? Yeah. Cheese. <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> Number one. Numero one. Mm, smell that. Oh. Yeah, it smells like cheese. Oh. Yeah, this is this is a bit fancy, isn't it? Who guesses what you're going to get, babe? A little bit disappointed. I, I, get, I, I like a picture here. Mm. Like a Santa Claus or something. Where have on them? Oh, what's that? Oh, a Walti. I've got jokes on mine. Oh, so good. Right, you ready? Tell us. What cheese rules the world? Um, the... Don't know. The Halluminite. Have oh. I said that right? Yeah. <laughs> That's awful. That's awful. That but cheese was lovely. So today I received a very exciting parcel from a company called Cherries. The box is almost bigger than me. The Cherries have very kindly gifted us all of the items within this package that I'm about to show you. But I just thought I would share with you some of the items that they sell online. They have a fantastic app which is where I got everything from and they sell all types of amazing products from different brands and I just think it's a really good app where you can go on and get your everyday essentials. They sell Christmas bits, household bits, food, cleaning bits which is predominantly what I've got to be honest because we all know I'm obsessed with nice smelling cleaning products. So I just thought I would share with you all of the items that I've got because I know you guys love a haul and I know that you love a bargain as well. And not only that, Cherries have kindly given us a discount code for you all to use. So our discount code is Tom and L20 which you can use on the app and for first purchases only. I will leave it in the description box below as well along with the link to the app. So guys, all our opinions will be our own. You know we're very transparent on this channel but I'm so excited to open this package. Okay, here goes. I'm sorry, but how cute is that little packaging? Got cherries all over it, I love that. So the first thing I picked up were these surface wipes for your bathroom. I don't know about you but I find wiping my sink and things an absolute nightmare because even though I dust it all before I clean it, dust still gets picked up on my cloth and it's just honestly such a nightmare. So I thought I would give wipes a go. I've heard really good things about these wipes so I just thought I'd give them a little try. Okay so the next thing that I got was this Poo Be Gone spray and it's in fresh citrus smell and it's basically just like you know the VIP is it called VIP Poo that you can get? Oh, sat here like not poo. But I just thought this would be really good to keep in the bathroom. We won't really go into any more detail. The next thing that I picked up was this Astonish stain remover. I've used this quite a few times now, and honestly, it is so good for getting stains out of things. So I would highly, highly recommend that. The next thing I picked up were some new washing capsules. I got the Bold 3 in 1 Sparkling Bloom, so I'm excited to smell those. And then I also got the Aerial All in One pods too. Uh, 15 in each but they are essentials for me. The thing that I picked up was this comfort fabric conditioner. I've never actually seen it in this scent but it's a coconut fantasy scent and you all know me I absolutely love the smell of coconut. I'm really excited to smell this. Mmm. That just reminds me of holidays and sun cream. That smells so nice. I've never ever smelt that scent before, but if you like the smell of coconut, then you will absolutely love that. I'll just put it up close so you can see what it looks like. Okay, next up I got a news of flora and I got the scent cranberry and orange. Let's smell it. Mmm. That smells so nice. It smells just like cranberries to be fair. I really, really like that. You all know that my favourite ever flora is winter morning because I'm not that keen on like cinnamon smells. So this for me is perfect because it doesn't smell too much like cinnamon, but it also smells Christmassy as well. By the way, I can't say the word cinnamon. Cin cinnamon. 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 Cin cinnamon. Does anyone else have one of those words that they just can't say no matter how many times they try and pronounce it? Okay, we can't do a household essentials haul without picking up two new minkies, can we? So I got the, just the standard minky cloth, which you all know I use all the time. And then I also got one of these minky dusters. Now I have actually got one of these, but I just thought it'd be really good to have a spare one for when my other one's in the wash. So that is an essential. For those of you that don't use the minky cloth, honestly, I would definitely, definitely recommend. Like my favorite ever minky cloth is the green window cleaning one. It's honestly amazing and 
it just goes to show that it isn't all about the different products you use. I was cleaning my mirrors the other day and I'd ran out of um, polish and window cleaner. So I literally just used the green window cloth from Minky and it literally cleaned like that. Whereas I've tried to do that before with a normal cloth and it just leaves marks and makes it even worse. So it just goes to show that if you actually, I say invest in a good cloth, they're like £2.53, which, you know, you can get cheaper cloths, but they honestly make such a difference. So I would highly recommend the Minky products. I know for a fact that you'll have all used these because who doesn't follow Mrs. Hinch? But the last few bits that I purchased were some food. We can't do a haul without showing you food now, can we? So the first thing that I got were these Aero Snow Bubbles and I thought these sounded so nice. They look like normal chocolate with white chocolate inside. I've never had these before, but they look really nice. And then I got some Cadbury mini snowballs, which I have had before, but they're Christmassy, so I had to get them. I then picked up some of these Jacob's crackers. I am absolutely obsessed with mini cheddars, and these were in the shape of a Christmas tree, so I was obviously going to buy them. I think they are just mini cheddars, but in a tree shape. Let's try them. Okay, so yes, they are. But they taste even cheesier, if that's even possible. And they're a lot thinner. But they're good. And then last but not least, I picked up this cute little nutcracker, which I thought was so cute. And I thought this would tie in perfectly with the theme of our living room this year. This wasn't expensive at all. Let me tell you how much it was. This was £6, which I actually think is really good for a nutcracker. So I'm really happy with that. I don't know where I'm going to put him yet, but... I just love a good nutcracker. So that was everything that we got in our cherries parcel. Don't forget, if you do want to do a little shop, then you can get 20% off with the code Tom and L20, which you can use on the app and for first time orders. But I will leave all the information in the description box down below. Hello, so it's currently Friday the 4th of December. Is it the 4th of December? Yes, Friday the 4th of December. And it's a little bit later on now in the afternoon. Tommy has been at work all day. He's just got in, he's just gone upstairs to get changed. And I actually had a little venture out to Primark, which was actually really nice, you know, just to look around some shops. So later on, I will do a little mini Primark haul, just because I know that you do like to watch them. So I'll show you sort of all the bits that I got later on. But. I just wanted to sort of start off by apologising for there not being an upload yesterday, so Thursday. I know you're seeing this on Sunday. Not being an upload on Thursday. Now, we were all organised. We actually filmed the video on Monday so that we could edit it and upload it and things for Thursday. Um, and we actually filmed a gingerbread decorating competition challenge between obviously me and Tom. We had loads of fun. It was a laugh. And then on Tuesday, I thought, right, Vlogmas is starting today. I'm going to wipe all our memory cards because we're up to date with our uploads. There's nothing sort of pending on the memory cards. Wiped it off that I was being organised and deleted all the footage. Like an absolute idiot. So we're not even going to talk about that because that was a very sad, sad moment. So that's why there was no upload because idiot over here went and deleted all the footage, which... It's really frustrating because it was actually a really good video. It was a lot of fun to film, but we move. All we can do is apologise. So let's just sort of move past that topic. But just to prove that we actually did do the video, we actually did do the gingerbread house making, let me show you our gingerbread houses. So these are the gingerbread houses. This one was mine. As you can see, I got peckish and ate the gingerbread man. But this is what mine looks like. Let me show you like a full 360. So you've got a little tree. I went for like white chocolate buttons all around the outside. Bit of glitter everywhere. So that one was mine. And then this one was Tommy's. So, don't really know what this was. We'll ask him when he comes, but he's got a tree. He mixed it up a little bit. So he went for normal chocolate at the side. Bit of a plain back. Bit of a mixture on that side. And then he actually put Santa in the chimney which i thought was really cute but we will have to ask him what this is about looks a bit like the yellow bit road i'm presuming that's what he was trying to go for but yeah they were our gingerbread men houses so let us know in the comments below who you thought should have won because it was a challenge should it be a l pretend the gingerbread man's there or b tom but yeah that just sort of goes to prove that we did film the video and I deleted the footage, which was just fantastic. Oh, hello. I was just explaining to them about the whole gingerbread man. Oh, the gingerbread situation. saga. Yeah. Oh, how annoying. I've just shown them ours. Yeah. And I just saying, I don't really know what was going on with the yellow bit on yours. Was it yellow bit rose? I can't remember. Have you done, you've played man down. I have 
second place Square last time. Down. I actually have it. It was the yellow brick road, and we're missing gummy bears on mine, just so you're all aware. Well, don't oh. worry, because I um, ain't my gingerbread man, so. Uh, yeah, true. True. So I've just shown them them and I've told them to put in the comments here they thought I should have won. But we had loads of fun filming that, didn't we? We did actually have... you mean when I did yeah, that. Very true, very true. So apologies. Also, please, if you want to say to me, I'm actually going to get my hair done tomorrow, um, highlighted, so I've taken all my extensions out. And then I'm going to get my extensions done next week. And we thought we would do a little bit of baking. Now, for so those of you... Our, um... Um, what's what's the word? Experienced bakers now. I was just going to say, for those of you that are returning subscribers, you will know that me and Tommy are not the best bakers. We don't have the best of luck when it comes to baking. And for those of you that are new, well, let's just say you're in for a treat. In for a treat. However, we found these little sets in Asda. I don't really think you can go wrong with sets like this, but... Oh, you know, we couldn't go wrong with gingerbread men. No, we do To be fair, but we um, did. But we bought these, which I thought were really cute. Steve, the snowman cupcake kit. So we'll have a little go at making them. So fingers crossed it goes to plan. Right, Tom. First things first. Rip and tip the cake mix into the bowl. Add the egg. Add the melted butter. Add 10 ml of milk. That'll do. Mix it all together and beat for two to three minutes. Ta-da! Right, so now we just need to put the cupcakes in the tray and then divide it equally. I think we're going to get some oddly shaped buns yeah. here. So we're down, we're here, um, and obviously you've just seen Ellie go to town on the mixture, <laughs> and we've, we're, Ellie, we're missing one. Yeah, we'll just do five. We'll just do it five now, because Ellie went too big on all the mixture, so I think we're just going to have massive buns. Yeah, but we want it to look like that. We want it to look like puffed out. Yeah, like level that. with icing sugar on the top. Yeah. I think we're going to have some big buns here. Okay, in the five buns go. Ta-da! There we Wow, well, that was loud. That was loud. <laughs> they look good. Right, let's just do the little test. Little test. Yep, they're good. ready. They're not as big as I thought they were going to be. They smell amazing. They do. Now we need to let them cool. Let them cool for 10 and then we'll decorate them. So now that the buns are nicely cooled, about 10 minutes, it's uh, time to get some decorating done. I'm gonna go ahead and say that we're not fantastic bakers. I'm not being funny, but why are the bun cases like that? <laughs> I don't think we can blame the bun cases, if I'm honest. Well, Tommy just gave up and made. A I gave up and just made a little angel bun because I like them. You used to like them as a kid, and then the <laughs> <laughs> just see, it. just look at this, <laughs> right? That's what we've made. That's what they're supposed to look like. <laughs> No, because people will actually think we do this on purpose and we generally do it. Oh, there's no, no, no. I yeah. actually really want to be good at it. <laughs> They're absolutely amazing. Wait, let me get the nose on. Oh, hang on, we need an orange. Where, where's our orange? Just over there. Oh, jelly yeah, beans. hang on. Jelly beans, but no of this. I mean, they taste good because the have put an ice in it. It's really nice. I just don't, how have they got the icing so smooth like that? And why, like, have they put, have they put stuff over? ta -da! <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, oh, we should have saved a bit of flour to sprinkle on. I know, we've got some flour in the thing. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, Rudolph. Oh, my God. 
Here we go then guys, here are our balls. <laughs> oh, they are but something else because honestly, I feel like doing like a little montage on these because mm. they're that good. We've got some icing sugar out. Oh, yep. wow. Here we go. Oh, sugar. Oh, no. oh now we can't even see his face. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, she went everywhere. Oh my god, my kitchen's turned they into They actually a... look quite alright now. Yeah, they look awesome, man. I mean, they do look like snowmen. But I want to know, any of you pro baker, like, how do you get it looking like that? Like, where have we... Where we ours haven't risen enough. Like, they look like flat and they filled the case in. Do you know what I mean? And it looks... That's what I mean, that's false advertising, because they didn't give us enough stuff to do that. They've only got three, though. Well, true. We could have made three fantastic ones rather than five average ones. So there we go. I think that's going to do us for baking for a bit. That's us. <laughs> I think we can uh, just... I mean, as long as they taste nice, that's like the main thing I'd say. As long as they taste all right, then that's all that really matters. Okay, so I thought I would show you some of the bits that I picked up when I was shopping. Predominantly, it's all from Primark, but I did buy a few bits from other places, so I'm going to show you them first. Okay, so first of all, I went to HomeSense, and I bought this little book, which I thought was really cute. It's Believe in Yourself. Um, and it basically just goes through and gives you sort of quotes, and then like a bit of a paragraph and motivation i suppose and how you can believe in yourself which i just thought was really really nice you all know me i love stuff like this so i just thought this was really really cute let me give you an example of the first one that it says okay so this very moment is a seed from which the flowers of tomorrow's happiness grow we all have inner voices telling us things about ourselves for people with low self-esteem these voices tend to speak negatively whether or not those things are true by turning these negative thoughts into positive ones you can transform the way you feel about yourself so it's just like little things like that, which I thought was really really nice and then it just got like loads of quotes and stuff so like believe you can and you're halfway there um start by doing what's necessary then do what's possible and suddenly you are doing the possible just loads of little qu quotes which I thought was really cute that was £5.99 and I just love things like that so that was from Home Sense. um I'm not going to show you anything else from Home Sense because some of those were presents and I don't want people to watch this if they're their presents so we then went into home bargains and i picked up a new candle obviously who goes shopping and doesn't pick up a new candle but this one is a cherry bakewell scented candle and honestly i can't even explain to you how much it smells like a cherry bakewell like i wish you could smell it through the camera it smells so nice and I can't remember exactly how much it was but I feel like it was £2.99 which I think is amazing for a large candle like that. I also love the fact that it was white as well because it will go in the house. But that smells insane. Then also from Home Bargains I picked up some of these car air fresheners which I think are really nice and they are the Christmas ones. So you've got gingerbread, warm apple and cinnamon which we know I will not like that one and then sugared fig and blackberry. So... To be fair, the main reason I bought this was definitely for the gingerbread man one. But I do think I might quite like that one as well. They were 99p for three. And I think they're like meant to be um, sort of like the Yankee Candle ones, which I thought were really nice. I bought them. And then also from Home Sense. So you might find these a little bit boring, but I love finding new things like this. So I think I've talked about the Skinny Whip bars on the channel before. I absolutely love them. They're 99 calories and you can get loads of different um, flavoured. So this is like one of my favourite, the mint one. It tastes exactly like an after it. These are about 99 pence each, by the way. I also saw these Rocky Road bars with 75 calories in. Again, I feel like they were £1 to £1.50-ish. But I'm really excited to try those. I then found these skinny chocolate peanut bar now i am absolutely obsessed with peanut butter so is tommy so i thought they would be really nice to try and then these are my favorites so i found some white chocolate and raspberry bliss bars these are 99 calories each and i think these look so nice anything white chocolate and raspberry i am there for like white chocolate and raspberry cookies anything like that i love so i'm really excited to try them i actually bought two packets of those and then finally, I bought some of these bars and then the Cherry Bakewell ones. These are, I think, meant to be like the Naked Bars, if any of you have ever tried those. These are so, so nice. 
especially the cherry bake while they're my favorite so i'll let you know what they're like but they look very similar to naked bass i think they're just like the cheaper version of those they were 99 pence i then went to asda and don't know about you but i can't go to asda and not buy anything christmasy so i picked up a new little mug for myself those of you that know us know that i love a glass mug so when i saw this i had to get it it's just got gingerbread men all the way around so cute absolutely love that like i said that was from asda Tommy has not seen this yet because he always tells me we've got far too many mugs, but don't tell him. So moving on swiftly to Primark, the first thing that I bought were some of these slipper socks. I haven't had a pair of these in years and I used to absolutely love them, so I had to get myself some of those. They had them in all different colours, they had them pink, white, grey and they did have a few more which I can't remember. These were £2 but I just absolutely love them so I had to pick them up. I then picked up some more um, bed socks, fluffy socks, cosy socks, whatever you call them. I call them bed socks. And I got them in these sort of like a pale blue and white colour. So the first one is just white with blue icicles and the second one's just plain blue. Thought they were really lovely and I love a pair of bed socks. Those are £2 for a pack of two. I then picked up some new gloves. Now I don't know about you but I always get my gloves from Primark. Really liked these colours. So you've got a cream pair and then like a nudie browny beige colour they were a pound for two pairs which i thought was really good and i really did need some gloves because now the weather's getting colder my hands are freezing like this week it's been three degrees some days less so it's really really cold at the minute so i had to pick up some new gloves i then picked up some of these um nomak hair clips now i've wanted some of these for ages and they're just the clips you know that you put on your hair like when you're doing your makeup or whatever and they're not meant to leave like a kink in your hair these were two pounds and you got four but i did think that the colors were really pretty as well so you've got like a pale pink a darker pink a peachy color and a nudie color they are right up my street by the way please ignore my nails i'm getting these done on thursday which i can't wait for okay so the next two things i bought were pajamas because we all know that i love primark pajamas the first pair that i bought were these grinch pajama bottoms now you can get a lot of the top separately but i just like wearing pajama bottoms with like hoodies and stuff i just find them so comfortable but the grinch all over them which i absolutely loved i also really like the color like nude and dark green these were eight pound which i thought was a bargain and i just love primark pajama bottoms then bought another pair of pajama bottoms the same type of style um the cuff bottoms i love these ones i think they're really nice and these ones are double which i just thought was so cute i love the color cream with like lilac on as well but i just thought they were so nice and we all know that i'm obsessed with disney and also elephants so had to get them i think they were eight pound as well eight pound too i'm out of breath i just ran downstairs to go get the door so if i'm heavily breathing then that's why okay then picked up another disney nighty because you all know me i never go to primark and don't pick up a disney nighty this one that i got i thought was so girly bright luminous pink and it just has mini on the front love that i just love the color i love pink um how much was this this one was eight pound again so girly isn't it so i then bought like an oversized long jumper um just because i thought they'd be really good you know like when you're just lounging around the house you want to be cozy so i picked up this pinocchio jumper again the khaki color is like one of my favorite colors i wear quite a lot of khaki but i just thought it was really nice because it had pinocchio on it but it's like really long so it'll be like go below your knees but i just thought that would be good for like lounging around the house in move that back move the bag out the way let me show you it i just thought that was really nice and again it was disney so i had to get it that one was 14 pound but yeah i thought that'd be cute and cozy okay the next few things that i bought was just some plain hoodies and then like a plain sweatshirt the reason i bought these was because like i say when i'm like lounging around the house i like to wear just pajama bottoms like i've just shown you and then just a hoodie so i just wanted to pick up a few cheap hoodies that i can sort of lounge around in so the first one that i got was actually a sweatshirt and it just looks like this it's like in this teal colour and on the front it just says oh natural which I thought was nice. I got it in a large because we all know I love things oversized and that one was only £5 so I thought it was a bargain. And then I just picked up two hoodies like I say. So the first one that I got was this grey one. It's like a mild grey. It's like a really nice type of grey 
but I got this in a large just again so it was nice and oversized I did want an extra large but they didn't actually have one so I just picked it up in a large and then last but not least I think this is my favorite hoodie well it is because I love this color I got this in an extra large because they did have one in that size and I think this was seven pound again seven pound again yeah I just thought it was really cute and cosy. And that is actually everything that I bought from Primark that I can show you. Again, I did buy a few presents, but I'm not going to show them just in case they're watching this video. So it is now Saturday the 5th of December and it's 10 to 1 in the afternoon. So this morning we just had like a little bit of a chilled morning to be fair. We just potted around, did a few chores. I had a bit of a lazy morning to be honest. I also posted the giveaway winner's hampers as well so that was done this morning um but i am just about to go get my hair done my roots are horrendous i'm going to get my highlights done um i think i did mention yesterday but i did take all my extensions out so i'm just going to give my hair a little bit of a breather and then i'm getting my extensions put back in next thursday so yeah giving my hair a bit of a break but yeah gonna go get my highlights done now so i shall see you when i come out and i'm back got my hair done can't really see too much in this light but i feel so much better for having blonder hair um sorry i'm like literally talking at 100 miles an hour i'm actually gonna pop you there because i need to get out of this car park because you can only have three hours and i think i've got like two minutes before i need to get out so i'm gonna leave you there what a horrible horrible day such a miserable day today sorry you can't really see me but I'm putting you there so you can hopefully see me on the driving. Um, honestly, I feel so much better for having blonde hair again. Like, don't you girls with blonde hair, and I suppose even brunettes really, but you just feel like you look so different when you need your roots to in. Can anyone else relate? I just felt disgusting, but we're back. We've got blonde hair back for Christmas. And I'm feeling good for it. It is literally horrible. It's just started raining. I was really lucky because it literally started raining as I got in the car. So that's good. I am, I think, going to have a little trip to B&M. It's on my way home. So I think I'm going to go there. And also, apparently, in Lidl, they sell... Um, wow, red, light, red traffic lights making me look like I'm at a disco. Um, also, apparently, in Lidl, they sell... You know the train that Tommy wanted to go around the tree? Apparently they're selling in there for like $12.99, so literally on my way home, we've got Lidl and B&M, so I think I'm gonna have a little mosey there. Um, not that I need anything, just because we love B&M, so. Oh my God, this is such a bad angle. I literally look like I've got a double chin, but. Don't you feel like you're having a little bit of a rave? Because of the red traffic light. How are you all at the minute anyways? I hope you're all doing well. Um, I'm feeling a little bit like, Mm, at the minute to be honest and I'm not moaning because you know there's people in a lot worse situations but I just absolutely love Christmas and I've said this before but like I love going to the markets like obviously spending loads of time with all your friends and family and I know that like, other people are feeling exactly the same way but don't you just think it's just it feels like Christmas but it doesn't in the same sense like it's a really weird one um and I'm really actually enjoying doing Vlogmas. I know we've only done like a few days of the week, but it's just because, um, go on. <laughs> it's just obviously because we're at work and stuff and we're doing full-time jobs at the same time. So I hope you're all enjoying the first Vlogmas so far. And also I hope you're all doing well as well and I hope you're all feeling good. I just think, you know, there's a lot of worse things going on in the world and we all just need to try and make the most out of Christmas and make it as festive and as cosy and as fun as possible. How are you all getting on with your um, Christmas shopping as well? I have done a little bit online, but not as much as what I would have usually done by this time. Usually again, we go Christmas shopping to like loads of different places. So I feel like I've got a bit, but this, I've still got like a hell of a lot to get, if you get what I mean. So I think tonight I'm gonna sit on the laptop and just like try and get finished off with a few more presents if I can. But yeah, anyways, I shall see you when we get home. So it's now a little bit later on. Um, I think the last time I saw you, I was on my way to B&M and Lidl. Um, Lidl didn't actually have the train, which you were really gutted about, weren't you, Tom? Yeah. I even asked the man to go check the back and there was none, so Best we'll have to keep train. checking. Um, and then I also went to B&M to try and get some baubles for our tree that we're gonna get for the dining room. Um, but they didn't have any. They were literally cleared out. Everywhere seems to be sold out of Christmas stuff this yeah. year. Yeah, because we're buying a new tree for in there, which will be on the next um, Vlogmas. But we just need to try and get some decorations for it. 
Um, so, a bit of a waste trip to be fair, but hey ho. So, like I say, Saturday night now, we're literally just sat down. We've both had baths, haven't we? Just mm -hmm. chilling out. And we're going to actually watch that new Dolly Parton Christmas film that I was talking to you about last week. So, I'm really excited to watch that. We've got some nibbles, some wine. We've got all sorts, haven't we, Tom? We're just going to have a really yeah. nice, chilled night. Also, just want to say for anyone that was wondering what these glasses were that I had on the other day. What are they? Blue light glasses. Blue light glasses. Tommy got me them um, because I kept getting headaches because I work with computers and stuff all day. I kept getting headaches and ever since I've worn them, I haven't had a headache. So I wear them like quite a lot to be fair, but most of the time like when I'm on my phone or watching telly or on a computer. And honestly, they really, really do help. I've, like I said, I've not had a headache since. They've really, really helped me. Um, but yeah, I feel like in this vlog, you've just seen us, well, maybe not Tom, but you've seen me in every single state possible. And this is what you get from uh, weekly vlogging. You've seen me like, literally looking like the worst. I just had a piece of that pizza and it's burning me out. Uh, you've seen me looking literally such a mess, but that's what we get for vlogging every day, I guess. I bought a pizza from Little that I've just had for my tea and it was spicy something. Probably just had some and he said, he said it's burning his mouth. Was it nice? No. <laughs> Did it burn you? Mm. <laughs> He's drinking water, that's so funny. I think that's probably gonna go ahead and end this first vlog, oh. let's see you. My eyes are watering, whew. Yeah, I think that's gonna go ahead and end this uh, first vlogmas. We will let you know what the Dolly Parton film's like, because we're actually really, well I'm really excited to watch it, I don't know about you. Uh, yeah. Um, really excited to watch it. So we'll let you obviously know in the next one, but... We have a very fun day planned for tomorrow, which will be going on next week's Vlogmas. Um, so make sure that you're here for that. And stick around for Vlogmas, so hit that subscribe button. Turn the notification bell on, so you never miss a video. Just in case you're wondering, we're off to get our tree tomorrow, but that will all be in next week's vlog. Oh, you can't give it away. I know, but I feel like you've left them hanging for a full week. There you go, there's there you a little bit of a FYI. Watching our real Christmas tree for the first time. <laughs> but yeah, that is going to go ahead and end the vlog. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And we'll see you next week. Well, no, we won't. We'll see you on Thursday. There will actually be a video on Thursday because I won't delete the footage this time. Bye. Bye.